Hi guys, welcome back. And, and this is um, my sixth video, I think. I haven't done a lot of videos. Um, and today we are going to be reading a, another book. And I'm going to do, after this video, I'm going to do another video, but it's not going to be a book. It's going to be, we're going to top up about things. So, <laughs> but today we're going to be reading a weird book that's not really my favorite. It's the worst book I ever saw in my life. It's not a good book for me, but you might like it. It's super weird. Don't even like it. It's, well, I'm still going to read it for you guys. If you heard of it or you didn't like it, you can just tell me. Um, so, let's see what the book is. It's More Parts by Ted Arnold. And it really isn't a good book for me. But, as you can know, that it's, you might know it, but if you like really long, that's me. I know that's not what I say. I say something before that, but that's okay. Okay, let's get started. More, oops, more parts. Right? Things are bad and getting worse. Each day, it's something new. With all the stuff I hear about, I don't know what to do. One day, I checked on my red truck, and it just fell apart. But when I told my mom, she said, I'll bet that broke your heart. It doesn't mean, like, your heart broke, like, it's broken. It just means that you, your heart, like, feels like you, cro like, it broke, <laughs> it's hard to explain that. Like, it hurt your heart that it didn't, and you know, and it hurt your feelings that you accidentally tripped on it. And then when can you cry? Do you want a new one? It just broke your heart. And that's all. It's hard to explain. I guess that's possible. I guess that's possible. Who knows? I don't think my mom would lie. I'd better play more carefully. This pillow's like the chart. This is just fiction, which means thick. So it's not really real. Like you're gonna have a broken heart. You just might hurt your feelings. Like People say all kinds of things. I, that I don't understand. Like when my dad asked me if I would please give him a hand. He didn't say, his dad didn't say he wanted his hand. Like you take off your hand and give it to me. He just wanted a hand like, like hold in his hand or something. Kind of like that. Uh -huh. Someone got I don't know my hand. Careful. See, that's terrifying. Uh -huh. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> I don't know my hands come, I didn't know my hands come off. And I don't want them to. And I don't want them to. It doesn't, well, it's kind of confusing when you say it. You gotta say it a little differently. I don't want them to. And I don't want them to. Which means you don't want your hands to break. 
Okay, not like you don't want your hands. So like, right with pencil or something. Like you don't want them to break. Okay. Just gotta see it quickly and not like apart. See, look, it's just cracking. Hmm. Scary. Our next door neighbor had a joke he wanted us to hear. He said, it's sure to crack up you up. Sure to crack you up. I ran away in fear. So, he actually wanted them to hear the joke. Okay, so that's his parents. That's the next one neighbor. See? No way, that's the teacher. Never mind. He wants to hear a joke like that. Not my idea of fun. I gotta keep my head together. It's only it's it's my only one. My teacher was me has me worried too. This happened yesterday. He said to stretch our arms and legs before we go and play. It doesn't mean stretch them off and then like get a little stretch. <sighs> get a little stretch a little bit. Oh, stretch them like all the way over here like a little on oh, hand. I'm sure. Do you think it's good for us? But that's just to desire. My arms and legs are long enough. I like the way they are. He doesn't like the way these are. He likes the way these are. Like hers. Have pictures. Uh oh. So these are guys. That's his grandma. I know I got a lot to learn. I've got a lot to learn. I'm little and I'm young. But what did grandma really mean when she said, hold your tongue? It means like, Hold it. And it's like hold your tongue. It means like hold your tongue. It's not gonna go, it's just gonna. It's just gonna hold your tongue, that's all. I'm just gonna bend the look a little bit. My tongue's a slimy, jiggly, squishy, slippery little squirt. I'd buy be my luck to squeeze too hard and lose it in the dirt. Ew! Gross. So I decided that it's best to stay here in my room because who knows when some little thing just might do it leads to my doom uh oh that's a parts book right there oh that's so cool Then my mom and dad came in and asked me
Why do you upset? I told them all the things I heard that get me a, in a sweat. Oh, sorry. I'm all the way back here. Like coach who says before each game is already to begin, he gets so nervous that he nearly jumps out of his skin. No, he might like jump, like ah! that. Oh, that's so loud. He might like freaked out or something like that I'm really nervous and then he'll kind of jump that but he won't jump out pop out something or what a friend said recently it it gave me so such a fright he claimed his baby sister screams her lungs out every night Mm, that's not good. Oh, your scream! You're screaming, but you won't with your lungs. You're screaming with your lungs. You're not taking your lungs out when you're screaming. It's kind of uh, not my favorite book. Look at all that. Look at all those. All that, and then those parents. My skin could slip, my head may crack, and I might break my heart. I could lose my lungs, my hands. Who knows when it might start? What if quite by accident my body flies apart? Mm -hmm. Mom and Dad just my own look. They feel that I'm okay. And Mom explained to me about the things that people say. And, and tough by laughed. And tough by laughed, I think. I know he didn't mean to be unkind when he said 40 minutes done. He thought you lost your brain. It didn't mean like you lost your brain, like out, like you lost your brain, like your brain's going crazy or something, like something like that. And that's the end of the book. And I hope you learned a lesson from this book that nothing will happen like that. Okay? But turn down. And let's see, toys. You learn one lesson, maybe. Or maybe you learned a lot from this book. That. Well, one lesson I learned from this book, and maybe you learned for your first lesson about this book. Now that's going to happen. And the second one I learned, maybe you learned too, that those, he doesn't know that you, he is just, he doesn't know, like, he know, he thought that was going to happen, but it wasn't going to those things were going to happen. And also, third reason, it's just, it's just that, so like, when I was talking about, like, like, broke your heart, it didn't, like, break it. It just, like, hurt your feelings 
So that's it for the day. And if you are not obsessed with this book, that's okay. Just leave me a comment. And that's okay if you're not really good with this book and you're not i don't mean like good uh i don't mean like you're not good with this book like you can't read some words um all the words are easy but i don't mean that i meant like like um like so, uh, and I meant like, um, you're not good with this book, like you don't really like it that much. You're not really good with this book, you don't like it that much. Might not make sense, but it's okay. Um, so that's all. And I'm a kid, so, sorry. And if you're a doll, you can call me, I'm okay with that. Um, cause I'm just a kid and I'm only seven number seven and um and parents if you like to come comment me i don't i don't care kids i don't care i don't care about anything it's okay i'm okay with that and because i'm just a kid so um okay with that. i think it's okay for my mom um she's she's the only one that lives with me oh and my baby brother um, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye!